I'm an addiction nurse. So I, my clients um, have substance use disorder and I had started recognizing in myself for the past couple of years, all of the same patterns that my patients had with the constant, I was just fixated on something. I couldn't stop or I would set these goals. And by the end of the day, I had relapsed, you know, on, on um, sugar and processed food and just all this garbage. Leanne, how did you find carnivore? Well, I've known about the carnivore diet for a couple of years. I, I've spent a lot of time listening to Michaela Peterson talk about her story and Jordan Peterson also, but it never really resonated or hit home with me. I just thought it was very interesting. Um, but I, I started really having issues with my weight a couple of years ago. Um, I never had a weight problem. I always had a very active job. But um, once the pandemic hit, I took, I'm a nurse, so I took an office job. And I had been, the weight had been slowly creeping up over the course of a couple of years, probably in my 40s, it really started hitting me. But once the pandemic hit and I took an office job and nobody was going anywhere doing anything, it just hit me and I just blew up. So, and of course, with all of that, then that also started some other chronic issues. I started having problems with sleep. I was having pain, uh, pain in my joints. Um, I had ankle pain where, you know, in the morning when I come downstairs to start my coffee, I was literally hobbling down the steps like, you know, a 90 year old woman. Um, and uh, skin issues. I felt like my eyelashes and my eyebrows were falling out. And I just kind of thought, well, I guess this is over 50. These are the things that happen in the back of my head. But I knew that it just, this, it didn't have to be, this doesn't have to be the way. I knew that there had to be something better. Um, so I, about 2022, I really started, all right, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to start working out. I'm going to lose this weight. I think at, at that point, I was probably about 35, 40 pounds overweight. And um, I was following all of these diet plans. I, I, I signed up for functional medicine. I couldn't really go through with it because my insurance wouldn't pay for it. And it's very expensive to do functional medicine. So I just started relying on myself and eating less, exercising more doing all of the recommendations. And I just kept gaining weight and feeling terrible. Um, so um, I guess last year in 2023, the beginning of the year, I felt it just in my soul that this is the year I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to figure out my solution. So starting in January of 2023, I, I, started hitting the gym five, six days a week, just exercising and exercising. And, and, you know, I, I have to start work early. So I'm at the gym at three thirty, four 4 o'clock in the morning and trying all of these different types of diets and eating all the right things. And it just wasn't working. So decided in January of 2023 also that I was going to try something um, because I had spent money on stupider things. So I, my girlfriend and I went to um, a hypnosis session. And um, it was just some guy that we heard on the radio. And uh, we went in because we were desperate to try anything new. And he was talking about all these really outdated, um, like 90s types of, uh, of uh, nutrition advice. And I even knew like, oh, my God, this is, this is not, this isn't right. And, um, but we did it. And um, of course, it did not work. Um, so I, I joined Weight Watchers and um, I was paying, I bought a, like a 10 month membership. It was about 25 bucks a month. And again, it's like I spent money on, on things that are way stupider than this. So went ahead and did Weight Watchers and um, didn't really, again, like knowing a little bit about nutrition, looking at this going, I know this isn't, this isn't real. This, this can't be. Uh, good for you. I don't believe that starving yourself is the answer. I mean, it just doesn't work. Um, but one thing that happened when I was in Weight Watchers, I would go to these support meetings on Saturday mornings. 
And uh, my sister and I call it uh, cheese at gate because I re somebody was talking about the foods you can have and the foods that you can't have. And somebody said, you know, that you can't have nuts, but cheese its are okay. And at that point, I just blanked out, like, I'm, I'm done. You know, I know that um, nuts, they might buy, not be health food, but they're definitely healthier than Cheez-Its. So I had already signed up for 10 months of, um, of the Weight Watchers, and I just wasted 10 months of, of 25 bucks a month. So didn't, that didn't work out for me. Um, I went and saw my primary care. He, I tried medication. I tried um, a, uh, a medication, which is a combination of naltrexone and Wellbutrin. Um, tried that for a few months, didn't work. I tried Phentermine, didn't work. Um, and I was really getting desperate. So this was probably spring of last year, 2023. And um, I said, okay, I'm gonna roll the dice and try Wagovi, the uh, semaglutide injection. And uh, so I did try that. I was on it for about six weeks. I didn't meet really any of the criteria because uh, um, I, I wasn't at the right BMI. I don't have high blood pressure. I, my A1C is fine. I'm not pre-diabetic, but we were able to prescribe the medication to me because my diastolic blood pressure was over 80. Um, but I had a terrible experience with it. It made me um, I had severe cramps in my stomach um, and I didn't lose any weight. So, and it, again, in my head, knowing that paralysis of the stomach, I just feel like there's going to be some long-term, uh, some long-term fallout that, you know, it's just going to be terrible. So I, I just stopped it and said, okay, I'm done. I can't, I can't think of anything else that I can do. So um, I went into the summer, last summer, just, um, trying to watch what I eat, but nothing worked. So um, I started getting hopeless again. And um, one, it was a, it was Sunday, September 11th. I was um, just gardening and watching YouTube. And I stumbled upon um, a, a YouTuber who was, uh, who was doing carnivore. And uh, I just got sucked in. Like it was the most random thing. Like it's not anything that I was ever watching. I never watched carnivore YouTube people and it just sucked me in. And I spent the entire day, uh, it was Dante Ferrigno. So, um, you know, he has, he has a special place in my heart because he's the one that I just watched his entire story for like two days straight. I, I nothing but Dante. And I said, okay, I'm starting on, on Monday. So I started the next day and, um, it was amazing. It was just, it was the easiest thing I had ever done. Um, I was not hungry. I was, for the first time in, in probably a decade, I was not fixated on food and constantly starving to death. Um, and I was sleeping just almost immediately. I stopped snoring. And the first night um, I, I woke up like, oh my God, I slept eight hours. Like that was amazing. I hadn't slept eight hours straight in years. Um, and just the brain fog and the energy and it just happened so quickly. I was a few days in and I, I told my, my best friend uh, because she struggles with a lot of the same things that I've been struggling with. And she started immediately too. And both of us, so middle of September is when we started. And I, within... I mean, the first week, I think I, I dropped six pounds and just every week, just, I just kept losing and just kept feeling better. Um, I wasn't craving for anything. I wasn't thinking about anything except I feel better and I can focus on something in my life that is not food related, you know, um, I, I'm an addiction nurse. So I, my clients um, have substance use disorder. And I had started recognizing in myself for the past couple of years, all of the same patterns that my patients had with the constant, I was just fixated on something I couldn't stop, or I would set these goals. And by the end of the day, I had relapsed, you know, on, on um, sugar and processed food and just all this garbage. And um, 
I realized once I had what I needed that I didn't have an addiction anymore. I just felt free. Um, I felt happy. I just felt excited that something was finally working for me. And of course, I spent months doing nothing but just taking in carnivore content on YouTube. I found you. I found um, uh, Harry Mann, um, who's been wonderful. I love his channel too. And of course, Dr. Chafee and Dr. Ken Berry, everybody, you know, that, that we all watch. And the community is just so fun and so inspirational. Um, I wanted to go in doing 90 days. That was my goal. Um, but I made it 71 days of pure carnivore. And I started the smell of just the same things over and over. I was just like, I'm, I'm really burning out on this food. So, um, and I was also having dream dreams about salads. So that was a first in my life. So I started bringing back in um, uh, leafy greens and cucumbers and I make my own salad dressings, a little bit of feta cheese. And I've always, you know, kept up with the dairy. Um, I didn't ever give up dairy or coffee. Um, but I found the perfect balance that works for me. Um, I found that I tolerate vegetables just fine. I don't eat fruit. Um, I gave that up. I don't ever think about fruit anymore, but um, certain vegetables work just fine for me, dairy products and um, chicken, fish, beef, pork. I can eat it all, um, but it's just the most sustainable life change that I've ever made. Um, and I am just so happy. I'm, I've lost probably, um, I'm about at 37 pounds right now. It's still coming off or I'm maintaining and coming off slowly. Um, but I'm at a point now where it's been six months. So I feel like, all right, well, I'm going to incorporate something new. Um, I want to start, um, getting back to the gym and doing that kind of exercise since it won't be painful to go to the gym anymore. It's so much easier to exercise when you're 37 pounds lighter um, and, and have the energy and the motivation to do it. So that's where I'm at right now. Like I said in that uh, in the email to you originally, I don't have a, a an incredible story, but I feel like I am a lot of women my age, are dealing with the same thing. Like we're not doing anything wrong. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And it just doesn't get better. It just keeps, the weight just keeps piling on. And with the weight come chronic issues. I didn't have chronic issues before I developed them because I was eating the standard American crap diet. So um, it's just the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm, I'm always so inspired by carnivores and, and other people's story. I love, you have so many people too. And I like the, you know, that everybody is just a person, you know, everybody has their own story, but we all have so many things in common. So um, it's just such an inspiring community. I love being part of it. That's awesome. Um, congratulations. How is the, you, you mentioned earlier, the joint pain and skin issues. How are they going? Oh, fine. I don't have, I don't have those problems anymore. They're, they're gone. They've resolved. Uh, my biggest issue was a left ankle pain and there's always been a lot of popping and clicking and, and uh, stiffness, soreness, especially when I wake up in the morning. Um, but it's gone. So I can get up, I can walk down the steps and not have any issues. Um, my, um, my skin issues are fine. You know, I, um, I, I don't have any acne. I don't have any psoriasis. It's just clear skin. Also, my for some reason, I feel like my eyebrows and my eyelashes have thickened up for some reason. But that was also something I didn't even realize that they had thinned out until I realized that they got thicker again. So that's been kind of interesting, too. <laughs> that's fantastic. You have added some vegetables and salad back in. So um, just thinking about your, your eating plan is probably a little bit different to what um most people i talk to would um would have how how are you eating day to day so um i i wake up in the morning i have my coffee sometimes i put heavy cream in it sometimes i don't just depending on what my mood is and um i take my lunch to work every day 
And I usually have um, like, I make a bunch of meatballs usually at the beginning of the week, or I'll make like little tiny hamburger patties. I call them my meat cookies. Um, and then I always have grilled chicken or, you know, last week I made a whole bunch of um, like uh, ribs uh, that um, taste great. Even I don't even have to eat them, heat them up. They just taste great cold. So I just take like a bowl of meat to work with me. Um, and then when I get home, I eat um, a salad and some kind of meat. Sometimes it's fish, sometimes it's chicken, sometimes it's hamburgers, you know. So um, I, I, I eat about two meals a day. That's all I'm ever hungry for. Um, I'm very satisfied in between. How's your friend doing? You mentioned your friend started it with you. Yeah, she's she's doing great. She actually was able to sustain just doing carnivore for uh she made it past 90 days i think she was like you know probably all the way through christmas i went off of it in christmas at christmas time i went and visited my son who lives out of state and um you know we indulged in just some typical food and then i of course i paid for it in the long run i started feeling achy and you know having those other issues that i hadn't had in a few months but uh, she was a real trooper. She did way better at on on it than than I did, and I believe she's she's down uh, probably over forty pounds at this point. So she also has worked back in some uh, vegetables, salads, and you know those uh, low inflammation type uh, veggies. But um, yeah, she's doing fantastic on it too. It was really nice to have a buddy, you know somebody that we in the beginning we were we were talking to each other almost every day checking in how are you doing are you having cravings you know are you are you still on it you know what are we doing good what are we doing bad what do we need to change you know and there was a lot of tweaks along the way but that's the great thing about carnivore is that um you know you don't have to follow it you know like in lockstep with everybody else you do what works for you and i found my healthy balance and so did she Nice. Um, so how would you recommend someone get started with this? I mean, jump in. I, I, but I'm a jump in kind of person. Same thing with, with my friend. Um, I remember talking to her about it one evening. I was only about two or three days in. I was telling her about it. And we were talking about seven or eight o'clock at night. She started it the next day. <laughs> she texted me and said, um, I'm cooking pork right now for, for lunch because, you know, she just, whatever the meat, whatever she had in the house, that's what she started with. She threw away all the stuff she didn't, she prepped, uh, she didn't prep. She just did it. She jumped in. And it's so easy though. It's just the easiest thing to do because of the, the, the you, you're just satisfied. You know, there's no cravings. Um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't hungry at all. It's just the easiest thing to do, you know? So there's really almost zero planning. You just do it. And then, you know, you can change things along the way. It's up to you. That's what I would recommend. That's what I did. And it worked fine for me. It's still working for me. Nice. So um, where is this going for you? You just can't. You plan to stay this way forever? forever. Yep, forever. Yeah, I, I feel better at 52 than I did 10 years ago when when all of this started. You know, like I, I feel amazing. I love the way I feel. I'm so happy with it. And, and, they, and it's just That's... easy. That's the best part. It's easy. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I agree. It's just easy. Yeah. Yep. Um, so if people want to reach out to you, Leanne, do you have any social media or YouTube or something like that? No, I'm not on social media at all. Um, I don't find it. Um, it, it doesn't do anything for me. I have too many other things to do. Um, I guess email, you know, I have an email, but, um, I'm not on social media anymore. I just really wanted to talk to you and just, um, put my story out there because it's short, it's simple. And, you know, I just wanted people that are in my position to know that it's something that's so easy to do. Just start, start tomorrow, whatever you got in the house. Thank you so much for coming on Leanne and sharing your story. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. I'm, I was really looking forward to this and it was so nice to meet you.